so, for people that don't know, this is Drift Stage. Drift Stage, I believe, came out in 2014 or 2015, like a long time ago. Um, it's been like six or seven years. Um, and this game was pretty much expected to die because the creators um, had some issues and the people that worked on the project uh, just couldn't work out their differences and thought this game would just basically die off after being kickstarted or uh, GoFundMe, I can't remember which one it was on but it's a, one of those games where we funded it back in the day and um, it, it, I'm playing basically the test version of the game that came to backers but I want to say during that period of time for the six and seven years this game was not even accessible like you could not play this you could not buy it you could not it's in early access and you couldn't do anything with it it's still in early access but now you the one of the guys who was working on the project initially got a lot of the stuff back and now you can experience drift stage in it's a prototype form cost some money but I've really wanted to try this game out ever since like back then I just didn't have like I believe like anything set up and I think my PC wasn't good enough for setup for stuff but now we get to play it and I get to play it so we're gonna try out Drift Age it's kind of crazy this game just never existed for a while and only the backers of the project could actually play it so we'll see so for anybody who's watching about to experience the drift stage, the game that's been gone for like over five years, <laughs> probably longer, if I can remember when it came out. But anyways, let's jump into it. Alright, so we got multiplayer. I don't even think that works. I think a lot of the features are busted, but we'll try the arcade. Ooh, when you get the DeLorean. Where Jake Baldino is probably who would love this. The cars look so cool. I love the animations. Oh, look at that. I might get that. Oh, get the Trino. Get the 86. Oh, that looks sick too. Oh, this looks sick too. Oh man, all these cars look sick. All oh, that skyline. Pretty sick. Ooh, outrun. Ooh, was, oh, that's sick. It's a lady. Alright, we're gonna go with the true now. And try it out from there. Let's do automatic, because I don't know how this game runs. The fact that I'm able to play this is insane. Okay, we got three tracks. Okay, so... Let's try Aqu Let's try the island test track. Yeah, I don't know if this game breaks or anything. We'll see. Oh, starts on the beach. Can change the song. Let's. Oh, that's really loud. Slow the volume just a bit. Got a horn. This is cool. This is cool. Alright. It's got a few little audio glitches, but this is still, like I said, the, uh... Oh, okay. I see how this works. Okay. 
Interesting. None of the other buttons work. <laughs> okay. I get used to the specifics of how to dry this thing. I wonder if there's a way to change control. Uh, uh oh, found a glitch, found a glitch, found a glitch. Yep. Let's uh close the game. Alright, we have to start it over. There's a few things, like I said. This is a this is a prototype build. So it's not exactly running the best and it still has a bunch of bugs and issues, but the fact that we can play this is still amazing to me. Alright, let's try to try this up again. I wonder if we can lower down the the uh, volume of the car because that was a little loud. All right. Boost up the music. All right. Screen shake. Controller rumble. Measurement miles. Okay. Let's pick a Jeff. Let's pick this car. Intro. Try a different track too. Let's fix the audio because it's uh, the the sound effects are really loud. Let's boost up the music. Let's turn it up just a little bit down. There we go. The areas in this game look insane to me. Like, the map looks crazy. It's cool. I'm trying to drift, but... Everything is like a straight away. Let's drop it just a bit lower.
So, kind of fun just driving in this area. This is a big stage, holy crap. Coming up to like almost three minutes for my first like lap. Oh, this is all game. Yes, this is a uh, drift stage, which this game actually um, has been gone from the internet for about seven years. There's a long history with this game, but it basically the creator abandoned it. Where's drifting? I this stage doesn't have much drifting apparently. This is a long track. Still on lap one. It also could be the car I got. Four minutes, god damn. Okay, I think I, it's stuck on, it might be stuck on lap one. Now that I think about it. Long track. So this game is technically still in um, early access and it will remain in early access because the, um, the creators um, basically abandoned it, um, except one guy who worked on it who brought back this game, or the early access version, back from the dead. Um, like I said, you couldn't even get it on Steam. They blocked the link so you couldn't grab this game anymore. Only the backers of the actual project could play the game. But now, you can buy it in early access if you want to. It's a it's a gamble because you don't know if it's, anything's going to happen with the game. But just the fact that we can still play it is really cool. So yeah, this one this mode will go on forever. So yeah. So but yeah, this game like the the state that it's in right now that you're watching is basically how it was back in 2015. Oh my god, that got loud. That got really loud. Okay, so it's got multiplayer. I don't know if multiplayer works. Uh, let's see. Because I was using this and it could drift. Let me try this. Let's see what's. Oh, you can. Oh, you can change the colors. Ooh. Well, that's cool. Ooh. It's 
See, as you can see, the car glitched and it fell into itself. Right now. It's, uh... It's wheels are falling off. What the? Let's see. And now the game crashed, and I can't use my controller. Let's see. Yeah. So, it has stuff like this in the game. Where you have to... Uh, let's see. That's not what I want. Alright. Yep. But yeah, so it has things like that where the game breaks because honestly it's not a stable, 100% stable build. As you see, this is not a final product. Um, and I think that's left from last time. So, again, nothing has really been touched to this game in seven years. And so... I think it's seven years, somewhere around there. Alright, so... Make sure my audio settings, okay, they saved. Go back to arcade. Try Sakura. Alright, let's try this course. Let's do this. There's a drifter. Oh shit. Whoa. Shit scared me. Oh, this song's good. The drifting is kind of interesting because it's it's very like it's floaty, like there's no weight involved. Okay, so yeah, it never changes to lap two, but I've gone through the whole track.
I wish you could do replays. Because you can do photo mode, which is kind of cool. That's pretty sick. Pretty cool. Oh, we can do stuff like that. Whoa. Okay, the color, the photo mode is very in depth. Yeah. Kind of crazy. I wish like th someone would pick this up and like the the bones of it feels like it could do something. The music's insane for one. This music's really good. And then number two, like the controls feel decent enough that like I I would definitely like play this if they had like a like an actual arcade mode. And more tracks. But we'll see. I always got the streaks from my last drift, though. That's cool. God damn, this is sick. Alright. This just gets super loud because they haven't balanced the audio. Let me try. Let's try. Wait. Yeah, I like that color. Let's go to the island trust test track. The effect when the music is good, yeah, right?
Or maybe it doesn't. Let me see. I'm going to try to do three laps because this one is a short track. I think. Yeah. Maybe it doesn't count it. I feel like someone could take definitely take this game and like do something with it. Oh, there we go. Lap two. Finally updated. Let's see if we can get to the finish screen. What was the bar between the time and the lap and the lap progress? That's what I'm thinking. It does, but it resets it. Like, twice, I think? We'll see. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It took a while, but now it's working. Oh, it just keeps going. What the hell? It said uh, ends at lap three. What the fuck? All right, we're gonna do one more lap and then see if it, if it ends. If not, it'll just keep on going forever. Seems like a fun little game to just like zone out and just drive. You can play also two player, I guess. That'd be kind of cool. Let's try it online. I don't think it has any online functionality, but we'll see. Yeah, there's like nothing. No one's playing this game. Right. For the most part, I think that's it. Go back to Aqua. Oh, control. Yep, controller died. So, so that was Drift Stage. It's a really cool game that like well could have been a cool game <laughs> um i'm just looking at these screenshots that looks so cool the photo mode is really sick 
Um, just the whole game is very aesthetic. Um, but I feel like there just needs to be more for people to actually j drop money on wanting to be early access with no hopes of like getting development for this game. I won't really recommend you get this, but it's really cool that this exists. Um, if it comes in the future, like things happen, um, you know, if you want to support it, it's kind of a steep price. I think it's like 10 bucks, but, um, I wanted to grab it just to have it because I've been kind of waiting for this to come back because it's one of the few games that never got released and it was like this drift stage and power drive 2000. You can still find a demo of power drive 2000 that you can like download and try out. But, um, those games were Kickstarter games that never actually got released. Um, they just kind of have like their demos and their like early access versions and that's it. And then their Kickstarter, all the money that went to the Kickstarter pretty much got burned away, sadly. And, um, and so nothing happened. It's kind of, it's kind of the early stages of that, the Kickstarter problems, but, um, really cool piece of media that's out there. Um, so just y'all check it out if you want to. I'll probably put the video up on my YouTube just to detail it, but just to archive it somewhere. I played it, so.